Well, it is not a good time for fish farmers in Djibouti, Ogun State, southwest Nigeria. They are currently faced with flooding occasioned by the torrential rainfall that have continued to wreak havoc on their businesses. Details in this report. Over 200 farmers whose ponds are located at Ikombago of Ijebode in Odogbomi local government area have continued to suffer the disaster caused by flooding. Rather than being a blessing, the rainfall to them is a curse on their investments. But at the back there, and this one, and, the, and this one in front here, there is no fish inside again. Everything wiped away. Fish of over one year. Fish of over one year, everything wiped away. Everything wiped away. No fish again. You don't know where we are going to start the business again. We want, we want you to help us. Please help us. I'm standing here. Over 75,000 kilograms of fishes was swept away from my farm. And I had a lot of workers, everybody, you know, and I, I, I got rain from different sources also. As I'm standing here right now, I'm only standing by the grace of God. And uh, no government, when we graduated from school, no government provided jobs for us. We are, we are hustler. About five clusters exist in the settlement, which include Ifeolua, Ashejoe, Progressive, Joye, and Kajola. Catfish was millions of men have been lost as a result of lack of basic infrastructure by good road network and proper drainage system to channel the flood waters. Again, precisely on the 8th of July 2022, this year, we experienced another flood disaster of unimaginable magnitude after the terrestrial rainfall that lasted for several hours non-stop, resulting in huge losses involving more than five fish farm, farm cluster, with hundreds of farmers suffering heavy losses in Ifeolua, Progressive, Ashijiri, Kajola, and Joye. All they want is the government's responsiveness to be applied. Several, several complaints official of the NEMA, National Emergency Management Agency, and SEMA, Ogun State, State, Ogun, Ogun State Emergency Management Agency, approached us for information gathering. The losses we incur occasioned by the flood with assurance to recompense farmers to at least Emanate, and emanate the losses suffered by farmers. To get nothing as hard from both agency and collecting our data regarding what we lost. Because mainly because the road is, is bad, the drainage system is too narrow to accommodate the water. And again, our stream, the Yemule stream, that that stream is long overdue for dredging. So we are appealing to the state government, to the federal government, to assist us in dredging that stream so that the waterways can be widened and the debt can also be increased. All efforts to get the authorities to comment on possible plans to remedy the challenges did not yield results. The farmers are demanding the dredging of Yemule River immediate reconstruction of Econ Bar Road and South Loans with low interest rate to ameliorate the effect of the damage on their businesses. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.